welcome to Everyday Grounding. Let's start at the top of our mat. Feet hip width distance apart. Toes tracking with your knees, so notice if you need to turn your feet out or turn your feet in a little bit more. Pressing down through the heels, but remaining soft in the kneecaps. Draw your navel to your spine, rib cage towards your spine, knit the front ribs together. Drop your hands down by your side, pull your shoulders away from your ears and slightly back. Palms slightly turn forward, length through the back of the neck, pull your ears over your shoulders. Close the eyes and let's take three complete breaths together. Inhale. Exhale out the mouth. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, blink the eyes open, reach the arms forward and up and overhead, stretch the fingertips, maybe look between the thumbs. Exhale, palms through heart center, forward fold, legs bent if you need. Oof, I'm feeling a little sore today. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the legs, lengthen the heart. Exhale, plant the palms and step back to plank pose. Inhale in your plank pose, draw your kneecaps up your thighs. Exhale, lower down chaturanga. You can always bring the knees down for the first few. Inhale, cobra pose, hover the hands. Exhale, tuck the toes, press up through plank, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up and overhead. Exhale, step it between your hands, drop the back knee down. Magnetize your front foot and back foot towards one another. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. Exhale, plant the hands down, step back to plank. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra pose, hover the hands. Exhale, tuck the toes, downward dog. Inhale, left leg floats up. Exhale, step it forward. Just getting warm here, drop the back knee. Magnetize your feet together. Inhale, arms up and overhead. Nice steady lunge. Exhale, hands down. Step back to plank. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga knees up or down. Inhale, cobra pose, hover the hands. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath in downward dog. Inhale, lift the heels, look forward. Exhale, step walk or hop to the top of your mat. Feet still hip with distance. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. You can bring fingertips to shins. Exhale, fold. Knees can be bent here. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. One more, inhale. Exhale, step back, plank. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, straight back to downward facing dog. Let's take a couple breaths here in downward facing. Starting to open up the back of the legs a little bit more and finding some steadiness and stillness in our movements. Fingers are spread wide. As much as you're pushing through the hands, trying to lengthen your chest away from your mat, you're also pressing the palms down into the mat, firing up those triceps, firing up those forearms as you magnetize your arms towards one another. Engage the core by drawing your navel in and trying to lift your hips a little bit higher. Good, take a breath here. Maybe let the eyes close. Good, inhale, float your right leg up and overhead. Try not to shift your weight too much in your hands and your legs, keep it even. Exhale, step your foot in between your hands. Spin your back heel down, nice wide stance, heel to heel. Inhale, press down to rise up, warrior two. Front knee sinks over front ankle, exhale. Good, let's take a couple breaths here. Really wide stance, take up some space on your mat. Guide your front knee to settle right over that front knee, or front ankle rather. Thigh doesn't need to be parallel, but we want that knee to land in a comfortable place. Arms stretched out to the front of the room and back of the room. But let your shoulders draw back slightly and down away from the ears. Pull your front ribs in, keep your core strong, your trunk engaged. Right hip is pulling forward and up so your pelvis is level. 
Soften your gaze over one point, maybe your middle finger. Just take a few breaths here. Feel time and space around you get slower. Your surroundings get quieter. Your focus gets deeper. One more breath. Inhale, flip your front hand, reach forward. Exhale, trace the ceiling up and over, warrior two, reverse warrior two. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle pose, right forearm, right thigh, left arm up and overhead. Spin your chest open, inhale. Exhale, hands plant, step back to plank. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. You can still hover the hands if you'd like. Just keep it low. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's take a couple breaths here. Feet hip width distance. My pinky fingers are off my mat. I've got a nice wide stance on the shoulders as well. That's what's comfortable for me. Thinking about your arms competing, which arm can press the mat away even more. And then press down into the mat while magnetizing your arms together. Upper body is lit up. Your legs feel connected and grounded and steady. Maybe you can lift the toes. Good, keep everything the same, but just loosen that left leg to float it up towards the sky. Exhale, step it between your hands. Arrive in your warrior two on an inhale. Exhale, settle in, find that front knee over front ankle and adjust your stance as much as you need here. Shoulders draw slightly back and down. Gaze over your front fingertips. Engage that back leg. How straight can you get it? Can you push through the knife edge? Find that evenness in the pelvis, left hip pulling forward and up. Maybe you need to sink that front knee a little bit more. Soften the eyes, the eyebrows, the jaw. Find one point to gaze at, three breaths. Good, inhale, reach forward and back. Exhale, reverse warrior. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, continue to side angle. Inhale, spin your chest open, maybe look up. Exhale, hands plant, step back to plank. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, your back bend of choice. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward between your hands, lift your heels. Exhale, step, walk, or hop to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. This time, inhale, press through the feet, rise up, mountain pose. Exhale, hands through prayer. Step your feet mat width distance apart, heels in, toes out, take a breath in. Exhale, malasana squat, lower down. Good, just a few breaths here. Those of you super flexible in the hips, those of you where, like me, your butt is pretty much to the ground, knees open, this pose is just really comfortable for you. Make it a little bit less comfortable. Push through the heels. Try and almost push yourself out of the pose without getting out of the pose. It's finding a lot more active engagement here. Those of you where this pose is already uncomfortable, we won't be here too much longer. Let's take three breaths. Keep the eyes open and gaze at one point to keep yourself grounded and in the presence in your space, in your surroundings, in your environment. breath. Breathe. 
bring your fingertips down. Press down to lift up, straighten the legs. Wiggle your feet back together. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come into kind of a chair squat. Arms are in line with the shoulders, sitting lower and lower and lower and lower, coming all the way down to your seat. Come into crisscross, right leg in front first. Sukhasana, where your shin bones are almost parallel. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, right hand by right hip and arc up and over to the right. Spin your chest open, inhale. Exhale, sink into that right arm. Maybe the elbow starts to bend, but keep your left hip grounded. Inhale, push down to reach back up. Exhale, twist to the right. So left hand to right knee, right fingertips tented behind you. Inhale, press through your back fingertips to sit up really tall. Exhale, rotate, maybe look behind you. We want no rounding in the spine as we twist. Everything tall and stacked. Next breath in, back to center, arms up. Exhale, left arm by left hip, arc up and over. Good, inhale, spin your chest open, maybe a little press out. Exhale, refold into it. Inhale, press down and reach up. Exhale, twisting to the left, sitting up tall. Inhale. Exhale. Good, another breath. Inhale, come back to center, reach the arms up. Exhale, bring your hands down beside you. Switch the crossing of your legs so left leg is in front. Bring your right arm out to the side like you're giving someone directly to the side of you, a high five. And then turn your arm so that you now your fingertips are down and you're pulling your fingertips towards your body. Draw your right shoulder down and away from the ear and tilt your head, whoo boy, to the left. Good, and then from here you can play with that arm, turning the fingers around and noticing how that can drastically change the sensation happening in the neck. Find a sweet spot, let's hold here, two breaths. Try and bring your chin a little bit more up rather than tucking it down. Like you're trying to bring the back of your head towards the back of your mat. Good, one more breath. Bring the head back up to center. Release your right arm down, other side, left arm out, and then twist it so that your fingertips are down and you're flexing that wrist. You're pulling those fingertips back. Draw your shoulder down and away from the ear and then tilt your head to the right. And then again, you can play with those fingertips, turning them back up, or kind of like you are trying to twist a lid or something with that hand. And my instinct is to just bring my chin to my chest. I'm just gonna lift my chin slightly so the back of my head comes back a little bit more so that my ears stack with my shoulders a little bit better. A little bit better alignment for that neck. And then let's take a couple breaths when you find a sweet spot. You might be feeling this a lot in the shoulder even. Okay, one more breath. Bring the head back up nice and slow. Release the arm down. Take a couple shoulder rolls backwards. Good. Reach the arms up and overhead. Palms down through center. Bring it through center. Thank you so much for joining me for this grounding practice. Namaste.